Hello there, this is Big Benedict. We're playing God of War 3 on Chaos Difficulty, and this is my No Upgrade Run Plus. We are on part 12 of the aforementioned guide. So, it's about 90 degrees in my room, so I'm trying to do this. I, I messed up a couple of times. The first time the microphone was away from me, not close enough to my to my, to my mouth, to where I was sitting. And then the second time I, I wasn't comfortable with the commentary. Just, uh, I didn't like the, the sound of it. So, we are going to be reuniting with Aphrodite in the way that Kratos does. So interestingly, and I'm sorry to be crude here, but the first time that you fuck her, you get 750 orbs. Uh, I mentioned that in the Aphrodite slash Poseidon video. And then when we go up here and, and fuck her again, you get, uh, you'll get get 22 for doing it the second time. And then thereafter, each time, you get one. So why do I even care about that? I just find those types of things interesting. And I wanted to commit it to... To the to the permanence of this video, just in case, because you can't grind for money on her, it's just not possible. Just I mean, like I said before, there's no need to on any on any section in this game. And obviously, we're 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 just accumulating these red orbs just to um, just for fun and to to have a just to see how many that we can get during the course of this campaign. Now, what I also wanted to talk about. And uh, there's no nudity here, just harassing a thong. Um, what I wanted to talk about was um, the manageability of enemies in this game. I can't remember which video it was. It was the... Um, let me just pull that video up in my playlist. It was in video number... Huh. I can't remember where that was. It was the first time you fight the siren, so it had to. It must have been in um, video eight. Yeah, that's that's the one it was. But in that video, I was. Uh, it may not have came across that I was saying that. Uh, what I want to say now is that no enemy in this game is not manageable. Meaning that every enemy, if you want to cut the double negatives away, every enemy in this game is manageable. Now you might think to yourself that the satyr is a pretty unmanageable enemy, but the satyr is just a challenging enemy. Obviously, you don't get any iframes when you're sparring with him, and the only time that you're facing him one-on-one -on -one is during a, a, a very hectic boss fight that you're not going to be able to get away with just sparring from him. And the other time you fight him, aside from the, the garden fight, which we'll be doing presently, is later in the game and there are more than one of them. So, uh, just a note here, I would like to add that I'm not getting any of the chests that are item slash godly possession chests. Like the ones that it's painting on now, one of those is Daedalus's schematics. I'm only getting the red chests here. And You'll, you'll have to excuse me, I have quite a bit of a headache, which I took some medicine for, and I also have um, a lot of mucus in my sinuses, so I'm trying to expel that as best as I can. But you might say to yourself, you know, Bic, I, I have to disagree with you, the, the, uh, the, the satyrs, I can't manage them. You can if you if you focus on them enough and, and uh, try different tactics, you, the satyrs can be stunned and launched and then um, be in a position in the air where they're in slow motion and you're not and you can deal with them by grabbing them. You can also just simply grab a satyr, but the satyrs are like the wraiths. When it's just one-on-one, -on -one, it's extremely easy, and admittedly, sometimes a wraith or a siren or a satyr will get in a, a quick swipe before you go to grab them again. But think about it: an enemy that all you have to do, if it's just one of them, or if another one is in the vicinity but he's too far away and he won't be able to come over to you in time, all you have to do is press the circle button and grab him. 
I can't think of anything that's more manageable than that. Now, admittedly, the sparring match is a very hectic time because you, you don't have any immunity. You could be hit by anything that's going on by outside factors, you know. Any any kind of projectile or damage or, or other enemy attacks. But just just look at your arsenal. I mean I can give you one one example of something good. The the Nemesis whip has a has a, an attack which uh, the magic attack of it it stuns enemies. So what I'm gonna do to demonstrate how to manage these guys and I don't do the best job because I, I did go for an extra grab that I got punished for and it, I'm not going to say it was the game's fault because it was my fault I was uh, I was getting greedy but I don't agree with it and it's really fucking hot in here it's like 90 degrees in this room so I'm gonna have to open the door and get some wind blown in from here from the, the, the ceiling fan in a second here but um, God fucking weather. I hate it. And I've lost my train of thought now. So, the garden maze puzzles, I've, every time you, you do one of the sequences, it's gonna, the camera's gonna pan over to a different area where something is happening that is, is responding to what you've just done. So, all the sequences with Hera, the, the cutscenes, those are edited out. First you want to come over here and grab her so that they don't kill her and you don't lose out on your five bonus points and and then there is a so there there are three batches of enemies there's this batch with four and then there's another batch with the stone tailless monster and two of these sentries and then there is another spawn after that another batch we're making cookies this time batches um, with just more of these guys, I think there's four, maybe five. But the bizarre thing about this, and I remarked about it the last time, because this is what I would recommend you do. This, I thought that they checkpointed it right outside the gate, and the fact that they don't is it makes me really mad and sorry that these uh, developers or whoever programmed it didn't do a good job because what happens is it checkpoints on these next fights it checkpoints midway through phase uh, spawn 2 if you want to count you know this is this is spawn 1 the one with the stone tailless monster and the two centuries is spawn 2 and then uh, spawn 3 is the next one but I'll show you what it is but anyway Come over here. There's one more, uh, uh, one more plague victim to slay. You want to save your progress, and this is spawn two. You want to grab her before they kill her, so they can't uh, get your bonus points for the brutal kill. And the weird thing is, they checkpoint it. What 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 happened here for me was that, and it'll happen to you because this is a routine thing they checkpoint it midway through this fight and when I died on the satyrs they checkpointed it at the point where I had two hits left on the stone tailless monster so it's really bizarre like they were saving they saved the fact that I damaged him like 90 percent of his health and that's it's not within keeping of what this game normally does. It's the only time in this game that that happens. So not only do they not give you a checkpoint by the satyrs, which they should, because they know people are going to get slaughtered the first time they've played this game, and maybe the thirtieth time they played this game. I get, I just got slaughtered, and I've been playing this game for like four years, on and off. So the best thing to do here to to minimize this the best way is to kill all three spawns, get every single chest, and then go back and save it. What that is going to uh, uh, well, it's not going to give you much. All it is, it, 
what it's going to happen is you're going to overwrite that checkpoint and be at the save point. So every time you die in the satyrs, they're going to start you from the save point. So you're going to have to make the run to the satyrs every single time and then go to the gate, watch that. And that's just horrible. You, It drains your will. You can get better if you have the patience for that, but nobody has the patience for that. It's it's just like the evil Mirai fight in Ninja Gaiden, which they didn't in Ninja Gaiden One, which they didn't fix in Ninja Gaiden Black, and which they still didn't fix in Sigma. So they had two chances, three if you will, technically. I mean, but in reality, they had two chances to fix it, and they still didn't fucking fix it. Nobody wants to run to a boss. Nobody wants to climb pitfalls in Ninja Gaiden 1 just to get to a boss that they're going to die on instantly. And I just don't think that that's ever appropriate. And it's it's a shame that they. It's a shame that that happens, and shame on them too for not making this right. You know what they should do? They should checkpoint it right after the gate sequence, so that when you die, the, after the brief loading screen, you start right, right over here, so that you could practice these guys because these are the, the most challenging enemies in the game to learn properly. So the first guy, you can grab him without the second guy getting to you. Most times, like this grab that I did right here, or is it? I think I grabbed this guy. But you don't want to grab them when one is close. So, okay, so you kind of have to assess it on the spot here when you're when you're stunning them. Um, look for the one that's getting stunned the longest. Like, look for the one that has more of a spark on him. Look for the one that's writhing more, and then go away from that one. And take uh, take out the one who's who looks like he's getting stunned um, less, because by that time the one that's getting stunned more will be coming out of his stun. Hopefully by the time the quick time event ends um, with the sparring match. So that is the satyrs. Are there other tactics? Yeah, there are. You, like I saw, you, you, like I said, uh, like I demoed right there, you can stun them and launch them up with the boots, grab them in the air, and just keep your distance. You know, fire arrows, hit them with the cestuses. There's all manner of things that you can do. But to call them unmanageable? No, they're not unmanageable. The sirens and the Stone Talos monsters were unmanageable in God of War Ascension. And I know it's a little bit of a stretch to say that those Stone Talos monsters, the elemental monsters, were unmanageable, but because they had an attack where you couldn't hit them, I am deeming them unmanageable. Because how do you manage something that you cannot hit? That was a that was obviously um, a rhetorical question. But anyway, you guys, after this video, the next video is going to be called Armor Cy Armored Cyclops is Time 7, uh, because that will be the most significant event that occurs in that video, and then we'll come down here and take this bitch out. Sorry. I hate, I hate saying that. This is kind of funny. But anyway, we'll be dealing with uh, that battle, which is a pretty... In in pretty in I don't know what I was saying there. This headache needs to go away. It's a pretty grueling endurance fight. I might as I might go as so far as to say it's an endurance fight. Um, but there's not just seven armored cyclopses. Um, I mean, there are, but there's also one other cyclops who's not armored and whose cudgel you can use once you disarm him. Well, you don't disarm him because you 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 he he retains his arms. Um, that is his weapons. But you don't get very long of a duration to attack the armored cyclopses. Like you get like ten seconds, and that's it. Maybe fifteen. That's a, a pretty liberal estimate. So all these sequences here, I'm just showing you the A to B uh, ways to do it. I mean, if you want my other guide, I will go in it, go into more detail. But if you're watching this 
it's probably just to be entertained, which is, is great, but I also hope people will attempt a challenge like this. And you're going to need help, not with things like this, which are, you know, I've done this so many times that I, I don't even... I don't even need to consult my own guide like I sometimes have to do with tricky puzzles. So just place her on the pressure switch and then you need to rotate this to make stairs. So rotate it the other way. It's the right analog stick that rotates and then just stick it here. But the Armored Cyclops is time 7. That was the la the final video that I published in unprivatized um, privatized form, excuse me, and then I got to the Scorpius boss fight. It was about a week ago, and it was a pretty bad night. I decided to take a family member to the ER, and when I got home, I spent all those hours after I had put the family member to bed and was watching over, watching over them. I um, I did the fight, and then I got so pissed off, and you know the rest of that tale. But the the next video, Armored Cyclops at Time 7, was as far as I got, as far as publishing videos. And I I was struggling on that as well, but I finally did it after realizing um, the best areas to stand. And, you know, best ways to, to get the enemies in clusters and best implementations of magic and such like that. So. Uh, this is not on a timer. Once you have the, the cylinder, or the, the pillar, excuse me, on the pressure switch, you're going to get everything you need, which I hope this guide is giving you everything you need and more. So agitate this harpy here, and for the purposes of brevity, I'm not going to be opening the chests across the way. Just assume that I open them, because it will be a valid assumption, because in the next video, I will just be starting from the save point and opening that door, and I will have gotten all of these chests, save for the item chests. Chest, excuse me. I need to stop pluralizing words when, they, when they're not needing that. But anyway, I will see you in the next video. Take care.